The number five seed UMass Boston Beacons were on the road in the Little East Conference quarterfinals on Tuesday night against fourth seeded Eastern Connecticut State University. It would be a great game from both sides. We pick it up at 15 14 Beacons. Tommy Burris nailing a corner three makes it a four point game. And then Mariano Olivier Rodriguez with the lead down to one hits a big two pointer to make it a three point game. Once again, a one point game 21 20. Emmanuel Zayas is going to hit a jump shot. Beacons up. 23-20, and then Xavier McKenzie gives them the largest lead of the first half with his layup right there. Beacons in control by five. We head to the end of the first half. McKenzie again lays it up and in. The Beacons would head into the halftime breakup 33-29. to In the second half, they'd come out firing early. A two-point game, Ike Lua nails the three. And then a little while later, Bobby Joy from Malik Lorquette, another three. The Beacons' largest lead of the game now up to eight. McKenzie would again extend that with a three-pointer right here. It's a nine-point Beacon lead early on in the second half. And the Beacon's continuing to roll. Lorquette down low is going to hit this jumper, a tough one, makes it a 12-point game. And then once again, Lorquette down low with the layup, gets another one. And just like that, again, the Beacon lead stretches to 12. But then the Warriors of Eastern Connecticut would respond with a big 10-0 run, starting with Tyrese Woods' jump shot there. And then Rakesh Tibby with a little off-the-backboard shot, cuts that beacon lead down to eight. Dominic Dow nails a pair of free throws. It's now a six-point game. Tibby down low again off the Dow miss, tips it up and in. And just like that, Eastern Connecticut creeping back into this game as Jalen Williams caps off the run with that floating runner. And just like that, it's a two-point beacon lead. But they would respond, and Xavier McKenzie once again lays it up and in. Beacons up by four. And then Mariano Olivier Rodriguez hits a nice jump shot here. Beacons with a six-point lead with just under six minutes to go in regulation. But once again, momentum swinging back in Eastern Connecticut's favor. Jalen Williams with a layup. And then Hunter Blageron is going to nail this deep three-pointer. Just like that, it is a one-point game with the Beacons maintaining control as McKenzie once again hits a big shot with three minutes to go. It's a three-point game. Max Lee responds on the other end with this tip-in. And just like that, again, a one-point game. Malik Lorquette with a pair of big free throws makes it a three-point lead for the Beacons. But then Jalen Williams, a jumper, just like that. This would be the Warriors game all of a sudden as down the stretch, they get the calls and they're making the shots they need to. Williams. Hits a pair of free throws on the one and one after the foul down low. The Beacons now trailing by one. And then Emmanuel Zayas with the corner three. No good. It goes out of bounds. And then it's kicked in to an East Con player. Dominic Dow goes to the line for one and one. He misses the first. And just like that, the Beacons another shot. It's Lorquette who's fouled down low by Quinton Lott. But he misses the free throw. He ends up getting the rebound down low. Is he able to kick it out to Zayas? Zayas wheels around and hits Bobby Joy. And Joy is going to try a three. Misses. Lorquette gets the rebound and he misses the layup attempt. And now the Warriors have the ball back up by one. They miss the second free throw. It's 60 to 58 with 10 seconds left. Zayas comes charging down the court, loses the ball. It goes out of bounds. And just like that, it goes back. Over to the Warriors as Woods seals the deal with two free throws. And the Beacons are eliminated from the Little East Conference Tournament in a thriller on the road to Eastern Connecticut State University, 62-58. to Xavier McKenzie led the way with 15 points on 6-15 of shooting. Malik Lorquette closes out his senior season with his 22nd double-double, a Division III leading 22nd double-double with 14 points and 17 rebounds.